And what Imago is really about, if you had to put it in a soundbite from my point of view, it's about consciousness. Where, and so the consciousness is an innate tr attribute for the human being. So it, it really has less cultural bias than most any model because it's really about, I just provide the information that's coming from my images regardless of where the images are from. So mm -hmm. they're images from the culture, they're images from the family. So the images that I bring are going to be from my family of origin regardless of where that was in the world. So you would tailor your approach, though, for each person you work with? Well, actually, the person tailors it. It's, it's, because Imago is two things. One, it's a theory. And the theory is that you will be attracted to someone who represents familiar love to you or holds the Imago or the image of what says, I love you, to you that we each come into adulthood with an, an imprinting or an image of what love looks and feels like. Now, that's very different as cultures vary. So, mm -hmm. so uh, depending upon your cultural heritage, you will pick a person rather appropriate, appropriate from your culture. So, and, and so first of all, it's a theory that you will be attracted to someone who will help you finish this unfinished business of childhood. Because the unfinished business of childhood is I may want, for example, for my imago, which I have distance and neglect and anxious, I want a neglectful person to come in and be close to me. I want a distant person to come in and pay attention and be attuned to me. And yet, because that's part of my experience, I have a defense around it. So part of it is a theory, but the other part of Imago is a set of techniques about what one is dialogue, talking and listening, you're going to see in, in a few moments. Another one is asking for what you want.